Hi guys, this is me, Selena. Um, I'm recovering to be vegan on Instagram and I'm recovering from anorexia nervosa. And this account is, basic, is brand new, so this is very weird for me. I'm not really used to talking into a camera at nobody right now, but I know that it, it actually is to somebody, but right now it's just weird because I'm just looking at myself, little Selena. Anyway, um, this account is going to be not just based on my eating disorder recovery, but it's going to be based about anything. So whatever you want to ask me, you can just put it down below and I'll try my hardest to get to it. I'm gotten, like, I'm going to be honest, I've got no clue about how to use all this. Like, it took me about, and I'm, like, I'm not going to over-exaggerate, it took me almost an hour just to set this up. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding, an hour. Anyway, so, um... I've got a few questions about what, about what some people wanted to know about me or my situation, etc. Um, they wanted to know where I'm from. So I'm from Adelaide in Australia, so South Aussies. And no, we don't say good day. We don't just eat like Vegemite on toast and have kangaroos running around as pets. Just going to clarify that. We don't have that. Um, that's just like a stigma people put on Australians, just like they put on poms with the accents of Americans with all drunk food when that's not even true. Anyway, so, anyway, somewhat, I keep saying anyway, I'm sorry, I'm really nervous, but I've gotten a few questions, like I said, now, so where I'm from, I said that, my name is Selena Pace, and I'm 17 years old, and the reason that I want to get better from my eating disorder, and all the other things that come along with it, is because... Well, firstly, like my name says, I want to be vegan, so recovering to be vegan. No, I was never vegetarian or anything like that before I got sick, but I've been in recovery for two years now, and as you can see, I'm pretty much healthy, a little bit of chub, 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 chub. I'm a little bit chubby everywhere, so I've got a bit of logic back in my mind. Okay, maybe you might not think chub, but anyway. I've got a bit of logic in my mind, and I really want to be this, like I've educated myself all of that like and the food is still really good like you don't need to restrict yourself just because you're vegan there's like vegan cupcakes vegan chocolate vegan ice cream just so much like that's why I get so excited when I go to Coles and they have all these like little new things that just really excites me um so so that's one reason and the second reason is that because I want to be a proper sister to my little sister and like I've said I think in some comments on my Instagram or some posts, I want pe I want to inspire people to love and live, just love everybody around them, love yourself, live your life to the fullest, don't let things like this hold you back, like me, it's taken so much away from me and if I can help anybody in any way to avoid this, avoid getting in this situation, whatever, I'll do it if I can. Um, and the other reasons are it's taken so much away from me, like I've said. Um, just trying to think, I'm sorry. Um, so it's taken so much away from me. Just everything sucks about it, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Like, you can't eat what you want, you can't go out with your friends because I've got this stupid thing where I have to weigh all my food. I get to enjoy stuff like and then when you do enjoy stuff you feel so bad and that's not right so what, what's good about that what you get to be skinny for a little bit but not really because you end up in hospital when you don't even think that you're skinny anyway you know what I mean okay um I'll get off that topic um another thing that she said the this is Celia Fights I'm pretty sure that's her name on Instagram I'm not 100% sure because I haven't really looked at her account that much but hopefully I got it right so I'm sorry if I didn't um she also said, so reasons that I wanted to get better, I've said that. She also said things that mean the most to me. The things that mean the most to me are obviously my family because they've done so much, for, not just because they've done so much for me, but also they're my family. Just like all of you, you all love your family a lot. Um, I do too. Another thing that means the most to me is for all you guys. Yeah, <laughs> that was such, so delayed. I'm... I'm Telling you the truth, you do all mean so much to me. That was just, I'm really nervous and I don't know what to say. So things just get all lost in my head, but that's not true at all. You just mean a lot to me. Um, I know this is so weird and you're all going to think I'm a loner, but 
all my Instagram friends and all of you people that support me have supported me so much. Yeah, like, I will count you more as closer friends to me than all my school friends. Like, I just feel more comfortable talking to you guys. And I feel like you kind of care about me more even though we've never met. Yeah, but the number one, like, person on all this... Well, not number one. I don't want to be selfish and say one person. But the person that has helped me so much and I'll, like... I'm like eternally grateful for to have is Maddie that's rediscovering myself of Instagram she's helped me so much like when I'm with her like when we first met a couple of weeks ago in Melbourne like I've wrote I've written that on my Instagram so hopefully if you go on my Instagram you'll see my little trip to Melbourne and all my little goodies I had but anyway we, like it felt like we had known each other for ever and we were like just like reuniting again like it was just really good. I just felt like I could tell her anything and I didn't even feel that self-conscious around her. Like I felt like I could, um, I felt like I could just not just eat. Like she was there with me, but I just felt, I don't know, it was like, I've never felt like this before. I didn't really care about what I look like. Like obviously I felt a lot of fat, but she was there and I had like her security kind of, so. And I know she wouldn't eat bad food because she's in the same situation as me. So, okay. And... Um, and another thing that Celia said was she asked, like, things that it sucks about anorexia. Like, name a list of things why anorexia sucks so much. Okay, firstly, here is a big long list of what it's taken away from me. It's taken me... It's taken away year eight, well, basically all of year eight, year nine, year nine, year ten, and basically all of year eleven because year eleven's basically up. Um, yeah, like that's supposed to be like the prime time of your life. Yeah, I have year twelve, but I need to focus on school. I need to focus on all that type of stuff. Like year eight, nine, and ten is where like all you like all the girls talk to boys and you get your cute crushes and you start to drink and I don't know you just enjoy food and life just for what it is and like it's your experimental stage you can just muck around school doesn't really matter as much as it does like in the upper years I don't know it's just like more about fun these type of these years in your life and you don't want to let them all go to waste just because you want to be skinny like I said before because you're not even going to see it to be honest like you're not going to see at all what you look like even when you get to your goal weight, or whatever you want to call it, it's not going to be good enough, you're not even going to be thin to yourself, and it's just a whole load of waste of time. And also, I've lost so many friends for, friends through this. Like, I go back, I went back to school, and they all treat you differently. Like, you've been away, you're like a sick person. They all watch what they say around you, and it's just, it's not the same at all, and it never will be. Like, they still love you and all that, but... It's like, it's just say like, you have a really good friend, and this is a really bad example, if you have a really good friend, and then you kiss them, like a boy obviously, if you're a girl, it's going to be so awkward for like ages. It's kind of like that, but there was no kissing involved, and it was just anorexia. <laughs> um, okay. I think that this video is getting a bit long. It's 8 minutes and 47, 48, 49 seconds. So I'm going to end it here. I'm not sure if I did a good job. I know I'm really stuttering and not really looking at the camera. But this is my first video, so please be grateful. Please. And please ignore my face and everything that looks weird on this camera. Yes. Okay, um, so please put any comments you want down below. If there's anything that you want to know, just write it down there. I don't know where it is, but everyone always points down, <laughs> so I'm going to point down. Okay, bye. It was really lovely for you all to listen to this.